This ball was made by the St Mungo Golf Ball Manufacturing Company in Glasgow, sometime between 1905 and 1914. The balls from the kernel range of, of, uh, of golf balls that amounted to 30 or so variations over the years. And this version is a kernel heavy. It's, uh, it's got a bramble star cover, which means that dimples were convex rather than concave as we as we know now with uh, golf ball design. And this was one of the first golf balls to have a solid, solid core. And then over the core itself, which they froze in manufacture to put solid, uh, to put um, windings, tight windings, elastic windings around the golf ball to give it some compression. And then over the top of that, then they put a gutter percha cover, which was um, a, th a, a thinner um, moldable cover that under heat, you could then put the dimple pattern to it and compress it and join it in one, in one, in one go. So gutter percha was a, a type of rubber, rubber latex that really transformed the whole concept of of a golf ball's feel. You could you could use a a, a driver or spoons and, uh, and brasses then for your distance. But then when it came to playing chip shots and putt shots, this golf ball had a little bit of a feel, which is really what manufacturers have been searching for ever since. That combination of of, of the two factors. The ball was painted white when it came out of the factory, nice pristine white. And when top golfer, Walter Travis, who'd won five British Opens and US Opens, started to, to use the golf ball and endorse it, just everybody had to tee off with a St Mungo's heavy kernel golf ball. <laughs> 